In today's video we are going to go from a spawn to having one of my largest bases that I've ever built on escalation. We will raid, defend from door campers and become the richest on the server. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes and subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video's mythical giveaway winners show now and today we're going through another one which is a glitch to Yushanka. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys we are in. Full escalation. Now this server is five times lower. Actually playing on my server. Obviously I, I will not have admin or any of that. I will just be playing undercover. Hopefully nobody will actually recognize me. Now today I'm actually not going to be solo. I have invited a friend where we're going to be a duo. And I do have a plan. He's actually already on the server. He's currently at Redgrove Airfield. Now for today's video I do have a plan. I want to build the base here. I want to build it next to the dead zone so that if I hear people trying to do the run, I could usually just try to counter. Especially when I get gas masks and all of that, but we have absolutely nothing. We just started and apparently there were people here because my teammate just arrived here. And there's a lot of loot on the floor, so we gotta be uh, a little bit careful. There's a few zombies coming here, maybe they'll give me some, some guns. Yeah, we got ourselves a black book, but since it's five times loot, it's not gonna be that hard. Oh, there's people. Yeah, he's up here. I'm gonna try to push, I'm probably gonna die though. Where the hell is he? Uh, oh, I bled out. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. We just... Yeah, we both died. We had no guns, sadly, but that's all right. I'm gonna try to get a better spawn. Never mind. This is, what, this is where I'm spawning. Yeah, we could loot Parkwood. Now, my teammate, it's his first time actually playing Escalation. So he has no idea how to do anything. So we're gonna teach him. We're gonna try to get him to get to that zone tier 2 as well. Obviously, I'm still gonna try to get myself as much loot as possible. I'm gonna try to raid. Today, I do have a plan of actually, I want to build like a large, gigantic base. And he found the LDG post there. Alright, let's just start killing as much zombies as possible. Obviously, we're gonna try to get myself... Bro, five times loot is actually crazy. We already got duct tape. But yeah, we're gonna try to get ourselves as much stuff for these uh, compounds as possible, obviously. Coffee filled. Bro, five times loot is mental. There's so much loot. Here we got ourselves a pistol. Alright, we're gonna avoid the important items, obviously. But obviously, since it's multiple loot, that means that everybody will have the same opportunity of getting the same loot. So that means that everybody that we find is gonna be super geared. Today's video is sponsored by Torno. Torno is a gaming app which users can participate in tournaments and earn coins, which can later on be redeemed for various prizes including Amazon gift cards. Torno currently has 15 games with a lot more on the way. There are currently tournaments live 24-7 for all of these 15 games. Each tournament lasts for 3 hours and after that the coins will be distributed among participants depending on their placement. This app is available both for iOS and Android completely for free. My personal favorite feature is the ability to play your favorite game and actually earn something while doing it. There's also a referral program which each new referral onto the app gives you points to advance towards higher levels earning more coins. Also, once you reach level 2, you are able to participate in crown tournaments, which are the same as a normal tournament except the prizes are much better. If you guys would like to download the app, I will have a link in the description below and thank you Torno for sponsoring this video and let's get straight back into the video. Yeah, bro, we got duct tape, coffee filters already, we got this handbook, we got a medical handbook. Alright, so we're gonna loot Parkwood, and I'm actually going to go to walk-in to try to get myself a fire axe, so that we can start chopping down trees, and so that we can start building. And from there, maybe we'll get firefighter outfit as well. Here we got glue and tape again. I don't know how I'm feeling about five times loot, actually. I do understand a lot of people do prefer playing on high times loot. Five times loot is like, it's literally like ten times. Or more. I can't wait to see what the dead zone will bring. But yeah, since now I've only played on normal servers with one times loot, this is my first time playing on high times loot, so we'll see what we'll get into. But yeah, we'll build somewhere where I'm marking, that would be a great base location between Red Grove and the dead zone. We would also be close to TKR, so we can get easy stuff for adhesive. Obviously we gotta see where bases are being built, if there's bases too close then we probably won't build there. So that we don't get probably annoying neighbors. But yeah, let's go to walk in, get ourselves a fire axe, fire clothing, and maybe we can start building a new base. Alright, so I'm salvaging carpets because that's easy way to get cloth for beds and for bandages and fabric and whatever. But yeah, we got ourselves basically what we needed. Check out the fire. Yeah, there's fire axe, uh, glow, fire clothes. I think somebody was here, bro. Yeah, bro, there's so much clothes that we need. Yeah, we literally got a bed. Alright, five times loot is crazy. We're gonna get so much loot so easily, man. Yeah, probably after today, I will not touch five times loot ever again. I can't wait to see what the bases have, man. 
Uh, looks like we already found ourselves a base. Um, chop trees around, so it's probably live right now. We'll come back later when we have raiding gear, but... We already found ourselves a base. Did they take over the cave? I don't think they did take over the cave. Okay, they built outside the cave, but they didn't live in the cave. Alright, that's alright. One time I do want to make, like, a full wipe where I live in a cave on escalation. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Or, like, for 24 hours living in a cave. I think that would be a great idea, but yeah, live base. Um, we'll come back later. I do want to build base first before we actually try to raid people or go deep or whatever. All right, boys, it's tree chopping time. I'm gonna get myself as much as possible. Gave my teammate a fire axe so that he can help me out as well. He didn't take it, bro. There's a fire axe right here, man. That's a lot of logs, damn. Alright, that's perfect. We need that for uh, as much storage as possible. There's a dude right there. There we go, he's dead. And my- Oh, he has some stuff. There's a lot of guns. Uh, some backpacks, black book. Yeah, alright. Not too bad. So we're going to go to around TKR Industrial. We need to get ourselves some stuff for the filter and for the gauze mask. Obviously, we're gonna need to get ourselves a- Contain, which is something that we need. Obviously, all of these guns that we're not gonna use, I'm just gonna salvage them, all of the pistols, because that's gonna be good for ingots, for springs, and for gun parts. Obviously, since we're living to the dead zone, we're gonna try to get ourselves as much dead zone runs as possible. We got ourselves a canteen too, which is perfect. And it looks like we're gonna be a trio now, which is pretty good. Here we go, we got ourselves a lot of fabric as well. Alright, back in base from a pretty decent Tron. Got generator, a lot of duct tape, stuff for adhesive. I think I already have enough stuff to actually go for a fill God Dead Zone run already. Let's see how many adhesives we can make. We got two adhesives, bro. That's perfect. That's so much, man. If you know how you're doing on a high times loot server, you can progress through this map in like an hour. I'm not even joking. We're gonna be raiding very early today. Right, let's put everything in the uh, crate, obviously. Stuff that I don't want to lose. We got ourselves some EOD helmets too, so that's pretty nice. All right, so for a filter, all I need to get is a little bit of plastic, which I should have. Yeah, let's get ourselves some plastic there. We got a full filament spool here. Let's salvage. And what else do we need? Duct tape. Let's get duct tape, filter. There we go. And now we can do a dead zone run. We just need like a gas mask, which is basically some more plastic yeah we literally just need some more plastic and some fabric now if you guys didn't know you can actually salvage electronic components into plastic and metal so if you have a lot of electronics you can actually make them into plastic there we go we got ourselves a gas mask already it's our first dead zone run but before i'm probably gonna make myself some more storage because we actually don't really have a lot of storage in here or maybe upgrade base a little bit. I do want to make this base into literally as large as possible. But obviously we'll do that later. I want to have myself like a roof. So that we can place as much airdrop grenades as possible. If people are trying to raid us we would have ourselves like a shooting floor and everything. I want to have myself like a fort in this vibe that we're going to be doing. Yeah, let's just salvage this. We can start upgrading to reinforced as well. Yeah we got ourselves some refined oil. That's pretty nice. Alright, so let me actually try to make this as reinforced as possible so that we're not one charge away from losing all of our loot. Even though the server wiped today, server launched today, so not everybody's gonna have insane loot. Alright boys, it's dead zone, I'm going with a pistol. Since it's five times loot, if I kill one zombie, they're gonna drop guns. So, yeah, let's just lure them all. Damn bro, there's a lot of zombies by the looks of it. Oh, there's a mega too. Alright, let's take out as much zombies as possible. Here we go, we got a Nacht. Bro, there's so many zombies. Why are there so many? Bro, there's so many zombies. Okay, um, I don't know why there's so many zombies, but hey, I will not complain. Bro, look at all of this loot. Bro, I can't wait to start raiding on the server. If you get all of this loot from one run, that's actually too much, bro. This is not... This is supposed to be five times loot. Oh, we got an airdrop grenade. All right, so the mega zombie is still alive, actually. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, let's take down as much as possible. There's quite a lot, bro. If I'm not doing this tactic when I go down here and just go inside and just try to kill them, I'll probably die. Yeah, I think the mega zombie is dead. I think we're all... I think we kill, killed them all. There's still a few over there. Let's reload. Right, I 
let's take them all down. There's, oh my god, there's still quite a lot. Alright, so obviously I came here for the Valkyrie. So that we get circuit board, so that we can start doing dead zones here too. Because I do want to get myself the airdrop grenade in today. Right, let's use the pistol. Let's shoot this dude. There we go. I think I think they're all dead now. No, never mind. Yeah, now I think they're all dead. Alright, well, we gotta prioritize and see what we get. Um, we gotta do it quickly, though, because the filter would run out. We got the Valkyrie, that's the important thing. We got an LTLM. We got basically everything that we need. Let's take some Elise packs. Yeah, by the way, this server does wipe weekly, so that means that every week, server starts a brand new fresh wipe. So that if it's a lot of loot, then it'll be gone in a week, basically. There we go, we got ourselves our circuit board. If you guys do want to play here, I'll have an IP and port in the description below. I'd love to see you guys here. There's some shots going on outside, I think. I think that's my teammates. Yeah, we got ourselves a full inventory. Yeah, we got ourselves quite a ton of loot. Airdrop grenade is huge. We're gonna get ourselves quite a lot. But yeah, I probably filled up already a crate here. Let's take some battle kits. Yeah, I think we prioritized and got as much as possible. There's a lot of guns, like a lot of good PvP guns here. But I'm trying to prioritize more raiding loot. There's a missile. Alright, yeah, we should definitely get out of here. There's We're gonna leave a lot of guns, but it's whatever. A lot of ammo, so... But yeah, we should we should run back to base. There we go. We got ourselves a better vest tow, so we can actually store a bit more items. Let's take ourselves some more high cal amphibious shirt. Yeah, having full amphibious is a good idea because you run much faster. All right, let's home. Pretty good dead zone run though. We're gonna get so much loot every dead zone run we get. All right, we are back in base. Time to start storing all of this loot that I got. And very soon we'll also pop the airdrop grenade. I'm just gonna salvage the Valkyrie so that we get the circuit boards. I'm not prioritizing it for raiding right now. I just want to get myself tier 2. Uh, dead zone. I want to get the airdrop module today. And then we'll just get a Valkyrie later on. It's, it's really whatever. Alright, let's chuck this grenade. Let's hope we get some good loot. I kind of put it next to our base, so hopefully nobody will actually try to come here. But we're going to start upgrading base very soon. It's too small. Uh, my teammates have been farming wood this whole time. So that's very nice to see. We're going to upgrade it to a 2x2 two two for now as well. Let's just get ourselves the walls ready. We'll upgrade it to and 4s later on. No rush. Yeah, I'm out of wood almost. Go get ourselves some roofs. Let's just place this one there. Place the other one there. Then we just salvage a wall. Alright, the airdrop's about to land. Come on, man. Give me the good loot. And... Okay, well, it looks like a bunch of guns. We got two Hermes. Nitroglycerin, some grenades. You know what? It could have been better, but it's not that bad. Grenade launchers are nice. Oh, looks like... Oh, there's people. Bro, they killed my teammate. That airdrop grenade actually did lure people around. I have a lot of metal on me, bro. I don't want to lose it. Let me just put them in vault. So if I die, at least I wouldn't lose that. Yeah, it's a duo. Are they gonna door camp us? Yeah, this dude is coming this way. Alright, one dead. Do you have any good loot? It does have some stuff. Yeah, Acid, Desert Falcon, Elise pack. Amphibious Riot clothing, actually. Yeah, the other dude is running away. Come back here, bro. Oh my god, the recoil of this gun is mad. Bro, die. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Bro, this is, gun's recoil is mental. It's so much. Alright, let's go see what he had. Yeah, you I mean, these guys may be the neighbors that we have on the other side of the island or whatever. Yeah, they had some guns. ECS, some marksman ammo. They had chemicals, bro. Thank you. Yeah, this could have been the guys that we saw their base already next to the cave. That's very close to us, so we gotta be careful that they don't actually return. Try to raid us or something. I don't know what they have. Alright, so I'm actually gonna work on base for a little bit. I'm gonna try to do the second floor. We did expand this part into a 2x2 two two as well. We're gonna do stairs and we're gonna start upgrading as much the base as possible. The fort shall start right now. Oh, there's a dude there. Yeah, he's clueless about me. Oh god, he's dead. Let's see what my boy had. A uh, billion guns. Oh, bro, he had some ingots. Oh, he had a lot of ingots, actually. Damn, he had three stacks. That's perfect. We actually need that for reinforced. Thank you.
All right, we're going back for dead zone run number two. Hoping I get another Valkyrie so I have enough circuit boards to go do a tier two run. Gonna spray all of them, bro. There's so many, man. Yeah, there's another Mega Zombie, bro. That's crazy. Let's pop this filter. You already got 200 high kill. Let's use this gun for a bit. And it's out. <laughs> Didn't really last long. Gonna try to use as much guns that I can. And we don't even have to savage the Valkyrie. I could probably make two biohazard outfits then. And I'll get my teammates to come with me. We'll do a double duo run. Alright, so on that run, I actually did salvage a lot of guns so that we can turn them into ingots. So we did get quite a lot of stacks of ingots. So that that's pretty nice to have. I guess that's the main thing I got from the dead zone, actually. I did get some circuit boards, though. I mean, the red tech, high tech fuses or whatever they're called. But it's enough for us to do two outfits, actually. I do have enough for two outfits, which is great. But we're probably gonna do a dual run then. We need to get some firefighter clothing because I think I only have enough for one. Alright, so we actually did get an airdrop grenade again. Uh, I'm going to salvage this roof so that it'll land. Actually, you know what? I could just do a hole. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a hole. And then it will land on top of the hole. And we could just loot the airdrop from inside our base. Because we don't have roof access just yet. Obviously, we'll upgrade base later on. No problem at all. We'll go get ourselves a hole. And then we'll just replace it again with the reinforced roof. Uh, so let's throw it. Let's make sure that it's at center. And then we look at the very bottom. We throw it. And we'll land literally right on top of the hole. It's kind of genius, to be honest. But it does may, it may bring people to your base. So you gotta be careful about that. I really hope that we get, like, charges from it. Because it is possible. We could actually salvage the roof and the airdrop will land inside the base. I'm gonna put the gas mask back in vault. I don't wanna lose it yet. It landed. And, oh, C4. And we got a Dizif, bro. Alright, perfect. This airdrop is actually much better than the other one. Alright, somebody else got into it. Um, we got another Hermes, some acid, some grenades for the grenade launcher. A Dizif is nice. We got a LMG box, too. Alright, not too bad. Alright, boys, it's raiding time. We got ourselves Poseidons. We're going to go with Haikel. And we're gonna raid a very small base. But hopefully, it shall be enough. Alright, so this is the raid we want to do. Uh, it's very small, but it's literally right next to us almost, and we gotta get rid of neighbors, obviously. Or else they could expand and they could be a problem later on. But yeah, we got Poseidons, they're a one-time use rocket launcher, but they're, they do raid a little bit. But since we had a bunch of impact grenades, I mean, might as well. So now we might as well use the RSS um, with Haikal. It's gonna take probably quite a while, because it is made out of reinforced. Wait, he has... Oh, he has the Hermes. Alright, yeah, let's use that. I'm not gonna use the charge for this raid. We're gonna use the charge for the other raid that we found earlier. The one where I think the guys try to door camp us or whatever. Yep, we're through. Alright, uh, there's some loot on the floor. Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of glue, chainsaw, a bunch of guns. We're gonna salvage all of the guns. Yeah, glue, chemicals. There's a banana. I love that banana. Generators. Yeah, man, this is a... I think we, I would say we profited. We can make quite a ton of Adiza from this. They also had some nitroglycerin, which is also used for C4. And I started taking all of the load that we can get. Yeah, he took my banana. All right, we're going to obviously take duct tape, glow, uh, all of the electronics, some filament spools. There's a car battery. If you salvage that, you get chemicals too, so that's good. Yeah, nitroglycerin, four canteens. All the pistols that are, that are here, we're going to salvage them. That's easy metal. The only downside to a Poseidon is that you cannot reload it. It's like a law in Arid, basically. It's the same concept. All right, yeah, got ourselves a full inventory. Also, they bring the Valkyrie just in case it wasn't enough, but... Yeah, it was more than enough. Alright, so now we'll home and we'll prepare ourselves for the next raid. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is our second raid we're gonna do. Um, they have a very weird sign outside. We're gonna raid it anyway, obviously. Um, we're just gonna put charge there. Blow up. Yep, we're in the... Alright, yeah, we're through. Broke some lockers, too. That's good. Uh, looks like a lot of refined oil. Bunch of cloth, chemicals. Yeah, ECS. We're gonna have to raid the rest with high cal, obviously. We still gotta blow up in the other parts of the base, so... Alright, let's just blow up here. We'll just start raiding. Hopefully we have enough, actually. I don't know how much it takes. But I do have a lot of high cal, to be honest. And we still have, like, the Valkyrie and everything. Oh, he's gonna use a grenade launcher. Alright, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, that bro... Okay, well, that's a bed. Oh, he has one more. Alright, back up, back up. 
Yeah, they broke. All right, great. And uh, metal ingots, some wood, a bunch of metal. All right, not bad. I want to get up there. I want to see if there's. A Wait, I think there's logs up there. Actually, don't want to get that. Now let's trade this part. Let's reload. Yeah, we're through and looks like there's nothing here. There's a gate. Okay. Yeah, that was a waste of ammo. I should probably just make some stairs to get up there, actually. Oh, there's some books down here. 3D printer, so we'll take these, obviously. Right, there we go. We got some stairs. Let's go up and... Oh, there's more crates. Oh my god, there's actually more loot. Okay, this one doesn't really have anything. There's a Hermes, though, but this one, bro, look at that. Bunch of guns. Oh, this one's empty. Yeah, I'll take this though. They have adhesive, bro. Chemicals. Yeah, really good. This was a good raid, I would say. I would say we may have profited a little bit. That adhesive is nice, so that's basically the adhesive for the charge. So it's really not an issue. I guess we didn't get nitroglycerin back, but it's honestly whatever. We got a lot of guns though, so I will not complain. Alright, it's time to start upgrading the base. It's time to make it into an actual fort, because right now it's just a two-floor base. So the base should be done. I did build how I wanted to. There's like two layers of honeycomb from every single side. So that is uh, really good. My teammate found some players and apparently he's been dying to them. So we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to TP and I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh, he's right here. There we go. He's dead. One. There's another dude somewhere. And he's right back here. All right. Yeah, about dead. Uh, yeah, they seem to have some loot. I'm currently dehydrating to death. Let's eat an apple. Yo, missile, a bunch of guns. Bro, he has a lot of ammo, Jesus. Yeah, these guys are geared. At least back everything, man. I think the other dude was naked, though, but this dude is stacked. Bro, we have a blowtorch. Let's go. Alright. This was a pretty profitable kill. They have a lot of food, so... Alright, so we both got biohazard outfit. We're going to do a dead zone tier 2. Somebody just blew up the nook. Uh, right next to us, probably. But, yeah, some some of us were doing some dead zone runs. The group is, uh, we're currently a four-man squad. Starting to become pretty high in players as well. More people are starting to join. It's the middle of the afternoon. So we actually gotta be a little bit careful. But the base is starting to look quite strong as well. We got ourselves a blast forge, so... Everyone is doing different stuff. When I was building the base, everyone was farming. A lot of the dead zones, military base as well. We got ourselves a bunch of lockers. All of our storage is mostly full, which is incredible. There, we got some more circuit boards over here. But we're gonna do a duo dead zone run, and we're going to get the airdrop module. That's really the important thing, man. That's all I want. There we go. We got boat shirt and pants, and let's give it to him. We're starting to get very geared, man. This wipe is starting to look pretty good. Oh, there's a dude here, bro. Let's take him out. There we go. He's dead. And my guy had ECS, CSO, some pistols, nothing that crazy. We're over at tier 2. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the zombies. It's actually a full moon, so, so that could be kind of dangerous because there's gonna be a lot of zombies. And just from the tier 1, there was a lot, so I can't imagine what's over here. We just gotta get up. There we go, yeah, we're kind of safe over here. It's my teammate's first time in here, too, so he may die. Hopefully not. Hopefully I won't die either. 
We could just spray all the zombies out from here. I would love some airdrop grenades from here too, actually. If I have a few grenades, I would just chuck them down below me, but... Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he could shoot them, actually. Yeah, let's take them out. Get airdrop grenades, I would be so happy. They're gonna respawn quickly, too, since it's a full moon. I think we killed the majority of them. I think we killed them all, actually. The ones that... Oh, I fell. Alright, there's still more. Oh my god, he's dead. Alright, so we gotta go over here. Bro, I fell again. No. It's just a waste of time, man. We gotta do the jump. There we go. Bro, there's so many zombies. This is actually dangerous, bro. This is much harder. If you get stuck in a corner, you're practically dead. Yeah, we gotta do the jump from here. And we'll make it to the top. Yeah, there's so many zombies here, too. Oh, bro, there's a heli. Oh, that's okay. We got the heli. Right, let's just take out as much zombies as possible. Yeah, yeah, it's not locked. It's our heli. Right, let's take out the zombies. Hopefully my teammate is actually looting them. So if we get our drop grenades, we could chuck them in base. But yeah, let's open this because we came for the airdrop module more than anything. The only reason I come here. Yeah, poor throw. Oh, zombie just respawned. We got the module. Let's go. All right, now we can actually just jump out of here. We can just run straight to Fort Marston and um, deploy this airdrop module. Alright, so I deployed it. Now we just gotta run to Fletcher Island before anybody else gets there. Alright, seems like there's nobody around. So that's good. Let's take the zombie out. Okay, adhesive. Uh, we got blank strike modules finally. Alright, we do have C4 in base so we can actually do that into a bomb strike, bro. I do want to raid with bomb strike today. Watch out, bro. Zombies behind you, man. Alright, and uh, yeah, we're done. I'm at home. We got the airdrop module load. We basically finished progression then. That's what it means. Oh, yeah, we're back in base. Beautiful. We got ourselves adhesive too from this, so that's really nice. We got ourselves a weapon case, the, the large one. I wonder what we're gonna get from it, actually. Let me drop all of these. We got ourselves some Ares rockets. Yeah, man, I'm really happy with that. Alright, let's see what we get from this. We got ourselves um, amphibious outfit. Okay. And we got ourselves two gun crates. Let's see what we get from them. First one is a Ulfbert. We got ourselves a smaller one. We got a Baizi. Alright, well, you know what? Hey, better than nothing. I was kind of hoping for horde beacons, to be completely honest. Oh, we got airdrop grenades. Oh, that's really good. Oh, he got two airdrop grenades. Oh, that's really great. Alright, we'll pop these at the top then. We just put everything in here. We got ourselves a full amphibious outfit, so, so I'll not complain with that. Yeah, our storage is starting to get quite full. We need to make more storage. <laughs> it's starting to get full. Right, let me put everything in here. In these new boxes that we just got from gun crates. And yeah, we got ourselves a smaller one too. So you can get all of these boxes from fishing too, by the way. So if you fish and you get that box, you can get literally like three guns. It's crazy. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go chuck these grenades at the very top. Right, let's throw them here. One over here. And one over here on the triangular part. And let's hope we get ourselves some good loot, man. I really want some C4 or something like that. That would be great. Yeah, double airdrop. Hopefully it won't bring people, but shouldn't be a problem if it does. We'll kill them anyway. And they're gonna land very soon. If we also get adhesive, I'll be happy with that. Or filters. That would be really good, because with filters we can do dead zone runs and get even more airdrop grenades. Yeah, they're about to land. I really want to see what's both of them. Alright, this one, guns. Yeah, nothing that crazy. I wonder what the other one had. I guess we will never know. We got ourselves another gun crate, so that's good. Alright, so my next step that I want to do is I actually crafted that bomb strike. We're going to raid the base. There's a base close to the dead zone tier 2, so it may have something good. I don't know, maybe they did do tier 2 runs, but we're gonna give that a try. We're gonna go there, we're gonna call in a bomb strike, and we're gonna see if we're gonna get something good from it. Same time, I'm gonna get myself an achievement, because it's gonna be the first time since the map launch that I did this. Alright, so we're here, let's see what's gonna happen to this base. It's just a 2x2 two two wood. But it should literally just completely destroy it. Yeah, it's gonna... Oh my god, bro. It even blew up the trees around it. Yeah, we're th literally just the foundations are still here. Yeah, there's some loads. Uh, bro, okay, you know what? It's a lot of ingots, dude. We can upgrade, like, almost so much of the base with that. Yeah, there's some duct tape. There's so many ingots. There's a CSO, circuit boards. All right, we got some stuff. I don't think we profited from it, though. But hey, I won't complain. We did get some loot. We got a lot of stuff for adhesives, too. 
can make like a bunch of adhesives from this. You got a full, at least spec full of loot. Alright, it's time for another dead zone run. So I did go AFK for like an hour and my team were working hard. They got industrial lockers. Pretty looking good, man. I think they raided a few more bases too when I was off. And they got some really good stuff from it by the looks of it. I think that's how they got their toolbox. Yeah, I can make an industrial locker. Made myself three actually. Now you can place them wherever you want. I got three airdrop grenades on me, so I'm gonna go chuck them up right now. And we'll see what we get. Alright, one, two, and three. There's already another airdrop up here, but they did that earlier, I guess. Uh, so I'm thinking... Bro, I made... There we go. We got the HMT, finally. My first minigun that I've ever crafted. Technically, apparently it's not really a minigun, but... Yeah, man, we got it. You better not take my airdrops, boy. But yeah, we got the minigun, bro. Looking good. Alright, three airdrops coming. But yeah, my base has been surviving for quite a while. It's completely untouched. Alright, let's see what we get. This one we got. Nothing that crazy. Hermes. Alright, well... You know what, a bunch of guns. Nothing that insane, though. Uh, insane base raid. Uh, nothing that crazy, though. Yeah, nothing that good. Let's just break this lock, eh? With high cal. I broke and gauss cans chain. So some glow. Glow's nice. Alright, we got another airdrop. Uh, adhesive, Hermes. Alright. We got two, actually. I would never know what the other one had, though. Man, yeah, we got airdrop grenades from... I think one of us did a dead zone run or something. We're such a big group now, I originally wanted to be like a duo or a trio, but yeah, we're, we're literally like a zerg now, so this base is practically gonna be unraidable. Since there's gonna be a lot of us the whole time on. Server's popping off, it has around like 40 people on. Right, so I also did get a heli. Um, Alright, that landed quite well actually. If the airdrops despawned, then that would be perfect placement. Alright boys, new day, new base raid, cave base raid. This was built overnight, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're throw and I'm um, stuck. Wait, I got a TPA. I don't know if there's anything good inside this base. A lot of people seem like they don't know that they can upgrade the base so easily. Yeah, three bed. It's a trio's base. Check out what loot there is. They have an LDG poster though. So huge respect. Even though it's a kit. Uh, okay, well, some loot. Alright, yeah, a bunch of glow, a bunch of nitro. I'll uh, take that. We did profit back. We only used one C4. So we got one adhesive and two nitro. We we profit back. Yeah, there's a lot of load in here. Bunch of nitro, glycerin, that's really nice. Yeah, all of the crates are full, man. They're all full of load. Yeah, we're gonna salvage everything that we don't need, obviously. Like all of the guns, we're gonna salvage them. They have a little planter here with food. Alright, not too bad. Yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of tomato. There's a dude there. Oh, he's dead. Alright. Let's see what my boy had. I think he heard us raid or something. Let's take off the EOD for now so that we'll actually get there faster. It seems like he had some stuff. Oh, it's a zombie. I'll just take it. Oh, wait. All right, he's just going somewhere. Um, okay. Bro, my guy had a mannequin. What? He has nitro on him. That's good. Alright boys, so after that we did continue to raid small bases, but nothing really that insane happened. I really hope that you guys did enjoy though. If you guys want to play on the server, I'll have the IP and the port in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!